Hello stylers, long time no see and welcome back. <sighs> so let's get into it. Today we're going to be doing this cute, fun, simple and easy slip dress. Um, I'm starting off first with some pattern paper, of course, and I will be tracing an existing A-line skirt that I like. Um, I like the fit. It's like a fit and flare A-line skirt. And I'm just going to be laying that out on my pattern paper and I am just going to trace around that and I'm going to use that to start off my pattern piece and template for the skirt. Now I go off camera to add in my seam allowance as well as any adjustments I need to do to the shape of it and straightening up my lines. However, I do wish I would have thought more about the length of this skirt. Slip satin dresses are more of a midi length. Mine's is a little bit more of a mini length. So when I go to sit down, it does ride up over my thighs. So your girl's thighs was out when she was out and about her first time going out since the um, start of quarantine. Um, Chicago has slowly started to open and open back up so I wanted to get out I got out with a friend for some little celebration so you can see me here taking that fat pattern piece and laying it down on the fabric I did cut the fabric at a diagonal at a 45 degree angle because the way that satin material works it has more of a drape and more flowy when it's cut on the bias which is why these are called bias cut slip skirts or bias cut satin dresses bias cut satin skirts so i did cut mine on an angle and you just slightly turn it so that the corner tapers up versus it being flat um with all four all four corners on the sides again my only wish is that i would have cut this about eight to ten inches longer if not probably like 12 because it was a bit short once it's all said is done it was right above my knees So this is a simple skirt. I'm just going to be taking it to my sewing machine, doing a straight stitch down the side seams, doing a back um, back stitch at the top at the beginning. Real simple, real easy. Once I have my side seam sewed up, I try it again. I tried it on, make sure everything fits. I like how it hangs. And then I'm going to use, um, I measured out my waist and cut some elastic. And I'm going to use the elastic to mark with some chalk the mark the inside so I know how much to fold over to create the casing for my waistband for my elastic to go through and I'm just pinning down the sides taking that back to the sewing machine doing a straight stitch around the skirt leaving about a two inch gap at the end so that I have enough room to feed my elastic through the casing Once I have finished sewing up my casing, I'm going to take my elastic. I'm going to secure the end with a safety pin so that it's easier for me to grab onto as I am feeding the elastic through the casing. Take that all the way around, hold it on to that, um, the other end of the elastic so it doesn't get lost. I'm going to pin those two together with the safety pin. Try it on one more time. See how I like the fit. If I need to um, add more uh, elastic, if I need to take away some elastic so it can fit nice and snug on my waist and it's easy to get on and off around my hips and my butts. Once I'm satisfied with the amount of elastic I have, I am going to sew up the end by doing a simple zigzag stitch, cut off the access, and then I'm going to take um, the skirt once again to the sewing machine and I'm just going to secure the elastic down in place at the side seams. I don't want this elastic folding and flipping on itself. I'm going to clean up all of my raw edges, cutting away any excess fabric. Then I'm going to take that back to my sewing machine and do a overlock stitching. I don't have a serger, but my, serger, my sewing machine has an overlock stitching or you can use a simple zigzag stitch. This will finish off the edges so you don't have any fran and everything looks nice and clean on the inside. After I clean up my edges, I'm going to do a simple narrow hem on the bottom of my skirt and then press all of my seams. And after that, stylers, you're done. I'm 
I really learned I really love how this DIY turned out it's really simple it's two pieces I'm definitely going to make it again in different colors and of course longer this time definitely gonna be something I could carry in into the fall with a pair of booties really cute um, this was my first time being out since the start of quarantine so I really wanted to just dress up have a little fun with it and definitely show off something that I have been made while I was in the house and I hope you enjoyed this video stylers there will be more to come I have been sewing I have been working thank you so much for watching and and always remember to love yourself fully until next time